Kentucky, the Jimmy V Men's Classic presented by Corona coming to you live from Madison Square Garden here in the Midtown. Nice night here in New York City. The holiday season is upon us and a sold out MSG here for game two. People have been getting off the train at Penn Station left and right in the last couple of hours and coming into the garden to see the first game, which was a doozy. It was great as Illinois defeated Florida Atlantic. And how about this matchup in the second game, Carolina and UConn. This is going to be a big battle all night long with the Baycott. Round one to Baycott. Baycott pushed him off the lane and stayed in front. And ran the floor. And watch Baycott take off. As soon as the ball is secured by Harrison Ingram, he's already gone. And Donovan Klingon saying, wait a minute, where'd you go? You got to watch Spencer. He could really shoot a grad transfer from Rutgers. Caravan into the paint. No. Tips it out. Spencer wide open. Count it. Because of that turf toe. That, that happened pretty early in the game, if yep. I remember right. Yep. And he struggled to shoot the ball. The reverse will go in for Baycott. You got to believe that toe. And you, you could see. As soon as he grabs the rebound, he can take it the other way. Baycott trying to reverse again. And the 7 2 Klingon got the best of it. Defensively, Baycott spins around him, but still he's able to block that. Ray Allen, Rip Hamilton, Mecca Okafor. I mean, just great player after great, great player. Cut. Yep. We have seen a lot of that. If you've been watching UConn games this year, Cam Spencer here. They're top locking him to keep him coming for off Alex Caravan. He just cuts right back to the basket. And top locking means just playing on top of him. So it, it forces him the other way. So, Hubert Davis has some kids who are pretty excited to play here in the garden. Sandiara has to pick up his dribble. Tristan Newton from way beyond the arm. The bucket's going to count, but Newton just moves and relocates. And Harrison Ingram was right there. There's great defense for a possession. Then with a second or two left on the shot clock, Tristan Newton must have hit five of those against the Jayhawks. And the answer from R.J. Davis. Jalen Withers, the transfer from Louisville. Caravan baseline, too strong off the glass, and back come the heel. Took him a while to make a play call. There's the elbow catch looking at the high low. Good pass. Ball to lefty gets it off and hits again. Well, he's going to be a really good Syracuse was out there when we were in Honolulu. And he's looking forward to it. He's thinks he's going to have a lot of fun doing it. Were you guys both working on your tans by the pool? <laughs> it shows, does it? Right, Michigan State got worked tonight by Wisconsin. Yeah. Samson Johnson, who can elevate with the best of them, couldn't throw it down. Those kind of shots are why he's shooting 75. Oh! oh! But how about getting back to do that at the other? Way to go in the first half and a timeout on the floor. Here comes Samson. It is nice when your defensive pencil has that kind of eraser. I thought he could have had the angle going to his right, but he spun back to his left. Count the basket and a foul the play just has an angle on Pax and Wojcik went right into him and look how he kept his eyes up just kissed it off the glass Newton up top and there's another dunk for Samson Johnson that action so difficult to stop in the middle of the floor at Samson Johnson here he's going to come up set a little slot ball screen just roll to the basket and Baycock gives a little bit of attention to the ball got caught in no man's land could Give and go, and Ryan with the layup, the assist to Baycott. Spencer gets it back from Johnson. Now the drive, the scoop, and the finish. Ingram. And one. Well, just a little reach at the end. A little back down. And Caravan in pretty good position, but just... A little too aggressive with R.J. Davis, who's been the go-to scorer for the Heels this season. He's got seven, and Baycott up there to slam home the miss. This is from in close in the sixth rebound of the night for Armando Baycott. And Baycott lays it in and is fouled. Oh, what a drop-off by Elliot Cadeau. Caravan gets free and knocks down the three. 
Caravan was wide open underneath. Ball was wide open on the wing, and all of a sudden, it's a double-digit lead. And Johnson sent a terrific screen to help free him up. And just a catch and shoot from some. Shot clock's almost down. And wow. Spencer knocks it down. But Baycott had to recover out. Shot clock at five. Icing that ball screen action, not letting UConn get to it. Wow, another three, this time for Bulls. In the nightcap, coverage ships with NBA countdown at 7 Eastern on ESPN and on the app. Spencer. Yes! That's less time that you have to guard in the half court. Cormac Ryan just getting caught off that screening. 21 now for Cam Spencer. Davis, Baycott, Ingram lays it in. A beautiful catch off that short roll and a great cut. Baycott, strong move, but that might have been Castle who got a piece of it. You see Baycott, yeah, it was Samson Johnson got a piece of that. And then Castle. Carolina, a good offensive team, and they've got R.J. Davis who's been on a tear lately. There's a ton of time in this game. He pulls up for three, and it's down to seven. And was able to just dribble into that shot. And a steal. And Davis with five points in the blink of an eye. Danny Hurley wants timeout. Some into it. And then out of the double team, just reading the eyes of the passer, taking it away. Five. Caravan puts it on the deck. Castle up and in. Ingram went for the steal. Good job by Baycott and Ingram to corral Tristan Newton. Clinging up and in. All five guys go to the defensive glass for UConn until they secure the ball to take it the other way. Good cut. Caravan the slam, Clinging the assist. And Cormac Ryan's had a tough night from beyond the arc. He's yet to make one. He's taken six of them. They can't ask for a better shot. Yeah, and he is a capable shooter. Solomon Ball is having himself a night. Good pass. And Cadeau the lay-in. Ingram the assist. Down to nine. Boy, this trip feels big, doesn't it? Oh, and they turn it over. Newton. Davis getting back, but not in time. And it's back to double figures now for the Huskies. With Newton doing a great job of staying in front. The turnover, then he gets it. Newton for three. Spencer, nobody blocked him out. Everybody just turned to walk. And Baycott was right there for the stick back, just overshot the rim. Caravan for two more. And right now, where does Carolina go for a score? Tristan Newton has really done a good job on R.J. Davis, but Davis so slippery and able to get open. Shot clock at seven. Spencer and all alone underneath he finds Caravan. Three teams in the Big East in the top ten of the rankings right now with Marquette and Creighton joining Connecticut there. A miss by Davis. Good hustle by Trimble to run it down. Put it up. He'll miss. Well, they're still going after it but now Newton has it and Klingon is just going to dribble it out. The final seconds will tick away and much to the delight of the Huskies fans here in New York, Connecticut beats Carolina. So Connecticut goes to eight and one. North Carolina drops to seven and two as the Huskies, uh, they fought hard all night long.